Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Janika. I hope everyone's day is going extremely well. So today we are doing a nighttime hygiene, skincare, self-care routine. We are using products by Taraji P. Henson's self-care line and we're gonna start with this Lang Lang candle and this electric lighter that I got from Amazon. So Lang Lang is apparently found to have relaxing sedative effects and is shown to reduce blood pressure and heart rate in some people. So cheers to the Lang Lang scent. Cheers to us relaxing and just having a very calm, soothing self-care night. After lighting the candle, I'm going to take off all of my jewelry and begin the process of getting ready for bed. This routine is not something that I do every night, but it's something that I do when I really just want to take some time and really take care of myself. I'm gonna put my hair up with my little gingerbread headband and I'm gonna start off by oil pulling. I try to oil pull for 20 minutes every day, morning and night. And I feel like I've been doing really well. Oil pulling is an oral health benefit that helps reduce bacteria in your mouth, plaque, gingivitis, also helps with teeth whitening, a host of other things. We are about to hop right in the shower, but first I want to take my nice, comfy, cozy robe and put it in a dryer until I'm out. So by the time I get out, I'll be all warm and cozy. I'm going to spray this Dr. Teal's sleep spray to help me sleep good tonight as well. It has lavender and chamomile in it. I'm not the hugest fan of lavender, but I love chamomile. So I'm going to get that dryer started. We're gonna start the shower and we are going to begin our hygiene routine. So this is the wind down body wash that's also part of Taraji P. Henson's body care line. It's also Lang Lang scented. And then we have this refreshing foot scrub. I picked this up at Walmart while I was getting Taraji P. Henson's things. This foot scrub is going to, well, it's been really helping my feet a lot. And I'm also going to use a scrubber to really help take care of my feet. So we're gonna put on our ambient chill playlist. We're going to let that candle burn. We're gonna let the music play and we're about to wash our body down and we're gonna start with exfoliating. I'm using my exfoliating gloves and for our first wash, I'm going to use this Dove Sensitive Skin Bar Soap. I'm using this as my base for a softer, exfoliated skin look and feel. And I just can't brag on Dove enough. I think we all know how good Dove soap is. It's the Holy Grail body care line in my opinion. I love Dove so much, especially the sensitive skin, especially the deep moisture and all the different scents they come out with. No, this isn't sponsored, but I have a deep love affair with Dove body care products. So anywho, I'm just gonna keep exfoliating the sensitive skin soap into my skin, making sure I get under my arms, my chest area, my arms, and then eventually work my way down to my legs and my feet as well. Now to the body wash. I found out that the Lang Lang body wash or body cleanser doesn't really lather the way that I prefer my body washes and body cleansers to lather. So I personally have to mix my body washes in this go round. So I'm mixing my Dove Deep Moisture body wash with the Lang Lang 
body cleanser and i feel like this is the best combination for exfoliated moisturized and smell good skin like it's just a perfect combination and i want to make sure i exfoliate every part of my body with the products that i'm using this is your daily reminder to treat your shower routines like a day at the spa i mean really find ways to treat yourself in the shower what i do may not be things that you're interested in but find things that you're interested in that makes you excited to get in the shower every day so now we're going to take care of these feet chas so first things first I'm going to exfoliate with the foot scrub just by itself. I'm going to make sure I get the heel and then the top of my big toe and any other problem areas. And then I'm going to take the foot scrubber and just really scrub, scrub, scrub the bottom of my feet. I do it the left side to the right side. Listen, I am 110% against people who don't wash their legs or their feet in the shower. You got to take care of your legs. You got to take care of your feet the same way you take care of the upper part of your body. So after that, I want to go ahead and wash everything down. We are almost done in the shower. But before we get out, I do want to make sure I take care of my feminine hygiene. So I'm going to use that sensitive skin Dove Bar Soap once more and just wash a little bit. I don't like put all the soap inside i do a little quick little swooshy swoosh and then go on about my business with this dove sensitive skin soap down there okay so getting out of the shower i still had that coconut oil in my mouth the entire time so now i'm going to dispose of it in this water bottle y'all please do not spit coconut oil or any type of oil into the sinks or the drains and i'm gonna get my robe out the dryer it feels so good and warm and soft i am so excited to finish up my hygiene routine and we're jumping straight into skincare first these are all the skincare products that i'm using some palmer some fresh some burst i'm gonna start with this burst cleansing balm to remove the makeup that's on my face currently the cleansing balm before the makeup remover wipes help melt the makeup off your face just a bit easier a bit better so that when you start to remove the makeup it comes off a lot smoother for you and your skin so i'm gonna rub that all into my skin on my brows my eyes everything and then i use these neutrogena makeup remover wipes to wipe the cleansing balm the makeup all of that off of my face I will say I love that Burst Cleansing Balm because it smells like eucalyptus and that's one of my favorite, all time favorite scents. Now moving on to cleanser, I'm using this Palmer's Skin Therapy Cleansing Oil. I ain't gonna lie, TikTok put me on. I needed another facial cleanser anyway because I was running out and when I saw this on TikTok, I was like, oh yes. I need it. Apparently, it's helping the girls with their blackheads. It's a really good cleanser for not that much money. And you guys know, if you're if you've been around, I love La Roche Posay. That is my go-to. But this Palmer's is coming in a close second at the moment. Now, after cleansing my face, I'm going to use this facial steamer that I also got from Amazon. Everything that I'm using in this video will be linked down below or it'll be in the products tab here on YouTube. I'm using this facial cleanser. Oh, also, the article is linked below for the benefits of a facial cleanser and when to use a facial cleanser. I'm using it to open up my pores fight any acne that may be trying to pop up, give my skin some hydration, increase the circulation. Those are some of the benefits of using a facial steamer. And after the facial steamer, that's when I move on to my toner. So I'm using my Fresh Deep Rose Hydrating Toner. Using me a little cotton pad and I am going through and cleaning up anything that the makeup remover may have missed, anything that the cleanser may have missed. I feel like it's easier to go in with the toner after the steamer because I'm not using a face mask, but if you don't have a face mask, you can just use the toner and the toner helps close your pores so uninvited impurities don't sneak in and undo all the benefits of the steaming that you just did. So 
after the toner then i clean my ears with a q-tip this sends me into an incredibly euphoric state my favorite thing is cleaning my ears and then we're going to move on to our fresh rose deep hydrating serum i'm using the serum after the toner like i said the article linked below will show the process and routine that you should have when using skincare products and then I am following it up with my Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. It's still a strong second place behind my La Roche-Posay for moisturizers. I freaking love this face moisturizer, y'all. Like, I use it every day and night because my skin just eats it up. It makes it look and feel amazing. And I just massage my face. Now, this is something new that I've kind of started doing was putting my face roller in the freezer. Not too much on my freezer. I don't have no food, <laughs> but don't worry about it. So I am going to apply this Glow Recipe Dew Drops to my skin. And after applying that, I use the face roller frozen to work it and massage it into my skin. Now, I love me some Sephora, but they got me these two gifts for my birthday as a set. It's the Glow Recipe Toner and Dew Drops. I'm trying it out to see if I wanna go ahead and purchase the full bottles. I like it so far. Now with the face roller, the benefits of face rolling is reduces puffiness, improves your circulation, and it's for the lymphatic drainage, and that's why I am making those moves on my neck. It also helps reduce stress, which comes in handy when we are trying to wind down for our night routine. Now on to body care. This is one of my favorite body care products this year. And the year just started. This is Taraji P. Henson's Softer Than No Other Body Butter. And I think I'm just a body butter gal because the way that body butters really just melt into your skin. And you guys know I love to mix my oil and my lotion. And that is what the body butter gives. It smells delicious. It's vanilla and tuberose scented. Just look at this glow, okay? This is only one application of putting this body butter on. So I was Googling, they have a body butter and a body cream. So I Googled like, what's the difference between the body butter and a body cream? The body cream is more water-based. It may or may not give you the same glowy, soft skin effect that the body butter does. Now, it, it will give you soft skin, I'll give you that. But the glowy skin like this, that makes it feel and smell like this good, I don't know. I'm going to have to pick up the body cream next to try it out and just see like if I like it. But for me, I know for a fact, like I love that Fenty Skin Butter Drop. I'm sticking with this softer than no other body butter. I'm going to move it all the way down from my arms, my elbows, my legs to the bottom of my feet. And to seal in that moisture, I'm going to put on one of my socks. Now we're going to move on to our feminine hygiene. So I've been using these same two products for a while. This is European Wax Center's Ingrown Hair Serum. I'm gonna put that on first. It's just to have my girl just feeling good, protects it from any ingrown hairs that may be trying to grow in. And then I'm gonna top it with this fur oil and just rub it into my girl as such. It makes her feel good, she likes it. Now we're moving on to fragrances. This is what I'm putting on to go to sleep, my Donna Karen Cashmere Deodorant and my Fresh Philosophy Warm Cashmere Scent. And these are pretty light scents. Not the Donna Karen, but for sure the Fresh Philosophy is. It's a pretty light scent to go to sleep in or to go out in. It's not too overpowering, not too strong. It feels perfect for a nighttime routine. And now on to oral care. I'm using my Crest 3D White toothpaste. I've been in my Crest bag. Last year was all Colgate. Now this year is given fully Crest. And I'm using my electric toothbrush that I got from Amazon. I did forget to show y'all my water pick, but it will be linked down below. After I finish brushing my teeth, I use the water pick as preventive oral care. It's used in place of flossing or just as another form of flossing. I don't know, flossing is kind of like boring and mundane to me. Using a water pick feels a lot more fun. So I do that for my oral care. 
and then we're winding down we're gonna put the candle out and we're gonna take care of these lips with this tree hut sugar lips lip butter i'm taking care of every part of my body before i get into bed okay because i just want to feel good and sleep good and then i'm going to take care of my cuticles with this scented cuticle oil from blossom also got this from amazon of course it'll all be linked down below and i'm just going to take care of my nails take care of my cuticles I think the applicator is so cute because it reminds me of a nail polish tip. It's cute. I liked it. I'm just going to massage it into my hands. Give me a little hand massage. I'm telling y'all, treat your hygiene routines like you at the spa, like you got the opportunity to really massage your body down and feel good about yourself. And now we are really, really winding down because I'm putting my scarf on. I'm putting my bunny on y'all and I'm getting ready to get in the bed. I feel so much better now. Thank you all so much for watching this video, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're into hygiene routines and like this video if you want to see more. Thank you all so much for watching once again and I'll see y'all next time.